Yo, what's going on guys? Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be going over Discord staff applications, how to make them, how to incorporate them into your server, and like how to actually do it in, uh, in a tutorial form. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, I'm on Google Forms right now. This is what I use. This is what tons of people use. Sometimes people can have their own like websites and stuff and make it very fancy and have uh, their forms on there. But to make it very simple and free, we're going to be using Google Forms. So all you have to do is have an account and you're good to go. So we're going to create a form right now. We're going to start blank and that's it. All right. So it is going to give you a little tutorial on how to do it because it's your first form. But you guys can skip that because you have me. So we're going to uh, title this form. I'm going to call it Staff Applications. And once we do that, I'm going to title it again up on the top. Uh, we're going to call it like that. And then Form Description. In the Form Description, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys. So just to base out of the Form Description real quick. I'm going to be showing you guys a full, generic, and common tutorial on what to do. You guys do not have to copy what I'm doing. It is a very good idea to copy what I'm doing because this is a good tutorial and very uh, simple and generic uh, but you guys can always add your extra responses and um, extra questions but I'm going to be giving you guys uh, the most relevant the easiest and the most common questions and uh, descriptions um, just to make sure just to add a little uh, spice if you guys are creating your own staff application never copy someone else's application believe it or not I have encountered multiple people that will copy either my application or other people's application and it does not look good at all if you see someone copying someone's application i recommend that you tell them to just delete it and create their own because it is not a good idea to copy someone's application it just ruins your represent your um representation of your server and the reputation for yourself so uh we're going to be jumping back right into this form description all you have to do is add a description for what your form is about. I'm going to be adding what it is and how long it takes to get accepted. There we go. So I said this is a staff application and it takes two days to get results. So I'm going to be putting eight questions to start off. You guys can uh, copy these eight questions. Um, don't copy, add, subtract, do whatever you'd like, and then I'm going to be adding uh, a little title down the bottom. So the first question that we're going to put is, you guys want to base it in chronological order and uh, most relevant to least relevant. So what the way that I do it is you're going to want it to be, who are you asking? Why are they here? And then some, some like uh, formal and like hand on hand questions. So we're going to be asking, what is your Discord ID? And then uh, for answer, you're going to put short answer test, short answer text. Uh, Google Forms does actually pre-fill it for you. And you're going to want to make sure all forms are required. So we're just going to pre-add all of these eight questions. So we have four right now. We're going to need another four. And yeah, so we're good to go. What is your Discord ID? We got that down. We're going to be asking, what is your time region? The reason we ask this is because you usually want to structure your staff based on time regions so you can have people all across the world managing your server and helping out with moderation. So we're going to be putting short answer once again and required. Uh, then we're going to be asking what is your age because obviously we want people to be at least old enough to use Discord. And then we're going to be putting a short answer again and required. So uh, that's about that. Then we're going to be asking, why do you want to be on the staff team and what makes you different from staff? Alrighty, so we asked those two questions. And then for the final questions, these are going to be the hands on hands questions, like I said, and the more legitimate questions. So we're going to be asking, have you been staffed before and uh, have you read the rules? So this just gets a background of the person. Uh, make sure they have read the rules of either Discord TOS or the rules of your server. And then if they've had any prior experience. The reason that we're going to be asking this question and 
all of the actual questions, you're going to want paragraphs, long answer texts. You're going to get the most information out. The reason you want to ask, have you been staffed before? As you can see, is this person qualified? Have they been qualified before? And what can they actually bring you uh, to the staff team? So like, let's say they say, uh, I can bring a really hardworking person or a really educated person, and they say they've never been staffed before. You might want to ask them a little bit more questions in either an interview or in DMs to see like what they actually mean by that, if they were lying or if they were telling the truth and it was just like a weird scenario. So you want to get the most information out of your uh, candidates as possible because these are the people that are going to be moderating your server. Alrighty, so we asked a question, have you read the rules? And for this one, it's going to be multiple choice. Uh, so we're going to be adding option one, yes, and then option two, no. Uh, other than that, we're going to require it, and then we're going to make sure all of our questions are required. So we're going to click on this one, required, 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 and required. So all of them are required right now. So what you're going to want to do right now is you're going to want to add a title and uh, description. So this is kind of like what you had on the top, but we're going to have it on the bottom. So it's going to be like something that's thanking them for applying. Um, something that tells them like when they're going to get their results uh, and other stuff like that. So now that we have this made, we're good to go. Now we can add some fancy stuff. So we're going to press this thing up on the top, customize theme. We're going to be, uh, let's make it blue because I like the color blue. Uh, that looks pretty good. Then you guys can add a header image. Um, there, I'm not really sure what the image length is. I do know 1920 by 1080 works, but it takes like the middle part of it so uh i'll be linking that in the description down below what the image uh for the header of the google form should be if you guys want to custom make one but other than that you're good to go you're going to press send and then we're going to get the link shorten the url because big urls are pretty annoying and we're going to copy it and we're good to go once you copied it you're going to go back to your discord you're going to want to make sure that you have a channel uh, for applications, if you don't, just make it, uh, if you do, uh, then you're good to go. So you're gonna get that, and copy, and you're good. That was application, and, um, when people click on it, this is what it looks like. That's how you make a staff application. If you're the owner of the application, um, you can just click on it and go to responses and see who responded. Uh, and other than that, that's how you make a staff application, how you get people to apply for staff in your server. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to smash that like button. Uh, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you around.